Hey guys, back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at some leaked stuff coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so we have some leaked stuff to look at. We are going to be looking at some armor and also some stuff from state challenges that I think is very interesting, so let's go ahead and look at it. Alright, so first up we have this new mount. I don't know what it's going to be coming out in. Maybe an upcoming treasure track, although I don't think that it would really fit a Halloween theme that we're probably going to be getting for this next treasure track, but I could be wrong on the theme of it because we don't have any leaks for it. But this is Cult Icon Mount 34. It just looks like a piece of driftwood. It kind of feels like it would go in with the uh, current armor for the Shipwreck Shore hard mode, uh, sort of with like the design on it, but I am pretty sure this is not supposed to be for it because it's not even in the game yet. And then we also have the spine for it. Um, I'm not going to play what the animation for it would look like because it's not really that interesting. We do also have a few other things in game that I think I'll go over real quick. So if you go into chat, there should be, yeah, there are new um, icons and all of these you can see look different. They look pretty nice. I'll go through and you can look at all of them. We also have some new uh, icons for the emotes. Uh, we still don't have those two old ones. And then all the facial reactions are different as well. I don't know why I can't do any of them though. Uh, oh wait, they probably aren't even in the game yet. But this is a good sign that they could be coming soon because they didn't delete them. So you can see the apple, the exclamation point, um, these ones don't even show anything for some reason. And also, a few pets were updated as well. Um, none of them will load because uh, of a glitch. But um, I'm pretty sure it was just the starter pets. Their spines got updated to be HD. These are not the OG starter pets. Those are still pixelated. These are the new starter pets like uh, Mermina and all of them are now updated to be HD apparently. And then also Small Dash was updated to be HD as well, although I haven't looked to see what it looks like. Now moving on to the state challenges, this is some really cool art we have here. So up here we can see that there's sort of like a racetrack, um, sort of like a medieval theme. Uh, kind of feels like it um, has to do with like Wizard Dash in a way with the theme of it. Um, I guess Wizard Dash could maybe be involved, but I'm not really confident on that. Um, we have these hills up here, we have a fence, um, we have a different looking hill. And then down here, um, this part of or state challenges, this thing looks really cool. This is These are just background images, but the art looks super nice. This is another one for it. And yeah, these look super cool. And then we also have this right here. This is called State Challenges. The other one was called State Challenges Background. So these are just some things that we're going to be seeing um, in like a UI for hard mode. This is an atlas, which is pretty much just a UI. Um, so it seems like we're going to be getting a lot of new stuff. So you can see that there are some really interesting rewards here. Down here, we actually have Magicoin, which that would be a really good reward to get another good way to get Magicoin. Um, so that would be a really nice thing to see. We also have some of these presents down here that we would see in the Wizard Dash. So um, maybe we'll get some of those. It also kind of feels like we could be seeing state challenges kind of maybe um, in a way have to do with Wizard Dash based off of the style that they're going for with this. Um, we do have Newt up here holding a trophy. These um, three like ranking things that I had shown in a previous video, um, we see those. So those were not for an arena as I thought that they could possibly be. Um, they're just for state challenges. And then we have a podium down here and some more trophies here. And then we also have this podium here. It looks like we may have a like interactive way inside of uh, the game to like see what the top classes are or what the top schools are, I guess it would be. And um, I think that it's pretty cool that they're actually like giving away 
for you to actually know what's going on, because before I don't think students really even knew that the state challenges were going on, but this actually lets students know that it's happening and it lets them actually like try and compete to actually get rewards. Because if we go into the data, it does show that there is going to be some dialogue, not really dialogue, more of just like stuff in the UI that's going to tell you about the state challenges. We have this right here, which says UI your class and UI your school. Those things are going to be part of state challenges. And then we have UI points, which would be points for, I guess, questions answered because um, that's how they do state challenges. We have the state challenges title with it, which is Prodigy Math Challenge. And then we have some interesting stuff down here, which says state challenge milestones widget title, school milestones, your school reached a new milestone, collect your reward. Your school is blank, correct answers from another reward. So it actually tells you how many questions you need to answer to get those reports. I don't know if those are gonna be the um, like platinum, gold, silver, um, rewards that we got from the last state challenge, but we'll just have to wait and see on that. And it says, see rewards, collect your school's milestones, answer more questions correctly to unrock rewards, and then questions. So it looks like we could be able to just collect our rewards as soon as um, we reach that milestone. Sadly, my class is not supposed to be able to get those rewards. Um, but it says state challenges, no placement. The next monthly challenge starts now. Button collect and button see rewards. So that'll allow you to see the rewards that you can get, which would further incentivize people to keep playing if they think that the rewards look good. We have state challenges qualified. You have qualified for the National Cup, which I think it's like the top five schools from each state. It says your school's highest milestone, your prizes, and next challenge. And then we have state challenges on now, on now, um, state challenges, current title, blank state challenge. So I guess that would be like your rank, maybe. Um, then we have state challenge champion, top five schools win cool rewards and qualify for the Prodigy National Cup. Um, I'm not really sure what those rewards are. I think it might be men or membership, but I'm not really sure. And then we have climb the leaderboard and win your state to score more epic prizes. Your schools earned a spot in the Prodigy National Cup. Starts blank, ends in blank days. And then the final bit of stuff for um, the uh, state challenges is new milestones are coming in next month's challenge. This is how your class ranks in your school this month. Get more classes in your school to compete. Blank from last month. Take on schools across your state to win epic rewards every month. The next monthly challenge starts soon. Come back tomorrow. So that is all the stuff that was added into the data. Now we do have some uh, armor to look at. All right, so we have these boots right here. You might have already seen some of this stuff on the Prodigy Wiki. I'm filming this, or I'm uploading this a day late. But you can see this, it kind of just looks like a boot with a screw inside of it. Here's what it's looks, it would look like if you're wearing it, and it pretty much looks the exact same. Um, we do have a wand for this, which looks like a fork with a screw on it. I'm not really sure what this set is supposed to be for, but if we continue going on, we can see that this is what it's going to look like when you're wearing that uh, weapon. And then here's the outfit for it. You can't actually see what it looks like when you're wearing it. This is just the icon for the outfit, which looks pretty interesting. There's a skull here, which sort of makes me think that it could be related to Pumpkin Fest, but I'm not really sure. There is no hat for this, so I think just, yeah, the next one's just going to be a relic, which I think looks really cool. Um, it sort of looks like a gravestone right here, some like green goo, and then there's a skull in the middle. So this could be coming as part of Pumpkin Fest, maybe. Then we also have um, this uh, armor, which sort of is like mummy themed, I think. There's no hat for this as well, but we do have a mummy uh, hat in the game already, although I don't think it will be related to this. It could possibly be. So this is what um, the icon for it is going to be. 
This is what it's going to look like when you're wearing it, pretty similar. And this is the icon for the wand. Um, it's sort of like a scythe. Um, it sort of looks uh, ancient, ancient Egyptian themed. Uh, something I would have seen in like my ninth or 10th grade history class. Um, this is what it looks like when you're wearing it, sort of like, I guess it would be like something that a pharaoh holds. Then we have the uh, outfit, which this is the icon for it. It looks pretty nice. And then we do have a relic for it, which um, looks pretty cool as well. This sort of looks like a beetle right here. But yeah, that was everything that was added to the assets and data yesterday when this video comes out. So yeah, that is going to go ahead and end the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and bye.